Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. If you work with databases, it is highly likely that you already use transactions, even if you are not aware of it. Let's talk about what transactions are and how they work in DBeaver. A transaction is a single unit of work performed within a database management system against a database. Generally, it represents any change in a database, but in some cases, it can consist of several operations. Transactions are needed for two main purposes. To prevent the database from failures and keep it consistent even in cases of system failure, to avoid concurrent access to data by different users, as this can lead to errors. Transactions are a very useful mechanism that is used in many databases. But the way they work by default can lead to some problems. For example, if one user opens a table, a transaction will automatically be created to block other users from accessing that table. That table can then remain open and access to it will be blocked long enough until the transaction is completed. Another problem which arises that users may not think about is whether the table they reserved is key linked with other tables. In this case, all associated tables will also be inaccessible to other users. In critical cases, a transaction blocking the work of users can be closed by the admin, but it is always better to be able to prevent this from happening. Let's talk about how transactions work in dBeaver. All actions that the user performs in the SQL editor or in the data editor go through the transaction mechanism. Our app allows you to work with transactions in two modes. All users are set to auto commit mode by default. When working in it, all operations performed by the user are sent to the database after clicking the save button. To switch to manual commit mode, click the commit mode button. In this mode, each user action is counted separately. If you accidentally delete a table or perform another unsafe operation, you can click the rollback button. Then your changes will not be applied. Click the refresh button to return the data to its original state. All operations that you can perform on a database can be divided into two groups. Safe operations do not change the database. For example, reading data from a table or sorting. Unsafe operations involve modifying data or metadata in the database. For example, changing data in a cell or deleting a row from a table. If you want all safe operations to be applied to the database immediately, but would like to protect yourself from incorrect data changes, dBeaver has a smart commit mode for you. This mode works with auto commit mode. To enable it, click the commit mode button and select smart commit. If you marked it as selected, then all safe operations will be immediately sent to the database. But when you try to change or update the data, the app will automatically switch to manual commit mode. In this case, to apply the changes, you need to click the save button and then the commit button. Smart commit is an additional setting of the auto commit mode. Therefore, turning it on will not affect the manual commit mode. Let's look at an example of how this works. Turn on smart commit mode and go to the SQL editor. First, let's try to execute a select query. Since it does not cause any changes to the database, we get results and stay in the auto commit mode. And now let's try to completely remove the table from the database by running a drop query. As you can see, in this case, the app switched to manual commit mode. If we made a mistake and tried to drop the wrong table, then all we need to do is click the rollback button to revert this operation and refresh the connection to return the data to its original state. 
When you make changes and click the Commit button to apply them or the Rollback button to revert them, the app will automatically revert to Auto Commit mode. You can set the Commit mode not only at the app level, but also for any of your connections. And the most convenient way to work with transactions in dBeaver is to use connection types. We will tell you about how this feature works in our next video. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.